Hilton has 18 different hotel brands in total, and the most luxurious is Waldorf Astoria, which is famous for its over-the-top extravagant luxury that can be seen in everything from the design of the rooms to the house car service that can take you anywhere near the hotel. Waldorf Astorias almost always have impeccable interiors, incredible pool and spa facilities, and a bar known as Peacock Alley. And they tend to be found in popular world-class destinations like Amsterdam, Los Cabos in Mexico, and the Maldives. Personally, I've stayed at three Waldorf Astoria properties so far, the one in Dubai, DIFC, the one in Bangkok, and the one in the Maldives, which is simply an incredible property all around, and I can't wait to check out more Waldorf Astorias around the world in the future. But if you aren't so much into that posh vibe, then Conrad Hotels aim to offer a smart luxury guest experience, which is supposed to be a modern take on the whole luxury hotel thing. The Conrads in New York City, for example, both Midtown and Downtown, are very popular properties for staying in the Big Apple at a reasonable price, and you should should also make sure to check out Conrad's in Osaka, Tokyo, Hong Kong, and Bali as well as they've received rave reviews of some of the best Conrad's in Asia. And plus, if you're not about to shell out the huge cash or points premium for the Waldorf Astoria Maldives, then the Conrad Maldives is a very reasonable luxury option as well. And they've got an underwater restaurant for you to check out. Now this last group of luxury hotels by Hilton is a rather unique set. It's a small collection of independent hotels that aims to create unforgettable experiences in once in a lifetime destinations. Destinations. And there's actually only nine LXR hotels locations around the world, and I'm staying at one right now. I'm at the Susona Bodrum here in Turkey, and might I say there's just something very special about the place. There's beautiful sunset views from the balcony, direct access to the ocean from the jetty, and a really nice infinity pool right by the breakfast restaurant where I had a massive Turkish breakfast this morning. This is my first time staying with LXR, and I can say I'm already very impressed, and I'm looking forward to checking out more properties like the Zemi Beach House in Anguilla, Mango House in the Seychelles, the Biltmore Mayfair in London, and the great Al Habtour Palace in Dubai. Now, all these luxury properties will typically have the widest range of amenities, the most opulent room design, a whole bunch of fine dining restaurants, and the highest price tags to match. Moving on now to the slightly less affluent hotel properties under Hilton, we've got the mid-range full-service brands, and we'll start with the Curio Collection. As Hilton puts it, Curio Collection is a series of independent, remarkable hotels whose only unifying characteristic is their glorious individuality. Now that's a lot of mumbo jumbo, but basically what it means is that these are boutique hotels with a lot of individual flavor. Now I've actually yet to stay at a Curio Collection property, but in my mind, I tend to compare it to Autograph Collection by Marriott. There's actually a Vogue Hotel in Montreal that will be reopening soon after renovations. That's a Curio Collection property that I'd love to check out once it's open for bookings again. Now kind of similar to Curio Collection and almost blending in a little bit are two relatively new Hilton brands called Tempo and Canopy. These brands have a focus on dynamic public spaces and well-being, and they tend to have an emphasis on fitness facilities and programs. Now, I haven't stayed at Tempo or Canopy hotels just yet, but there's a new Canopy Hotel opening in Toronto in the Yorkville region, and it's designed by Canada's famous Studio Munge, which also designed the JW Marriott Park Vancouver and the Park Hyatt Toronto, so I'm really interested in checking out this Canopy property once it's open. Next, there's probably the most famous brand of them all, the simple and basic Hill Hilton Hotels brand. These are the fairly consistent full service hotels that you can find all around the world catering to a mix of business and leisure travelers. They tend to have pretty uniform facilities like rooms and suites that are perfectly serviceable but won't blow you away, indoor outdoor pool facilities, and a bunch of meeting rooms. And my favorite Hilton hotel around the world so far is probably the one in Queenstown, New Zealand, which has some amazing lakeside views and relaxation facilities. I've also stayed at many other Hiltons around the world thanks to their large footprint from Warsaw, Poland to Whistler, British Columbia. Now, another fairly similar set of hotels that's arguably more leisure oriented is Double Tree by Hilton, known for their friendly service and their signature chocolate chip cookie upon arrival. That's right, whenever you stay at a Double Tree, you'll be treated to a chocolate chip cookie upon arrival as your welcome amenity. And I think that's a great way for Double Tree to build that brand loyalty among guests each time they stay. I've only ever stayed at one Double Tree property. It was the Chateau on the Park in Christchurch, New Zealand. I had a pretty good stay with a good breakfast and quite a few drinks at the bar in the evening. Although I will say that the interiors of the hotel reminded me a little bit too much of a retirement home. Now speaking of Hiltons and Double Trees, you should definitely check out the locations in Toronto. Why? Well, that's because we're gonna be hosting the inaugural edition of the Travel Summit in Toronto on October 29th and 30th, 2022. The Travel Summit is the premier global gathering place for anybody who's interested in frequent aspirational travel, saving money on luxury travel, and what it means to be a valuable 
value-oriented, freedom-seeking traveler in the modern world. Come to this two-day conference to absorb everything you need to know about how to unlock luxury travel at a fraction of the price, network with your fellow travel enthusiasts, and learn from some of the best experts in the industry, all in the heart of downtown Toronto. You can find out more information at the link in the description below, and I'll see you at the Travel Summit on October 29th. Now, all of the Hilton hotel brands that we've talked about so far are good for a short visit to a destination where you aren't staying for too long. But what if you wanted to enjoy a more extended stay of let's say a couple of weeks when you're traveling before moving on to your next destination? The best Hilton brands to pick for these types of trips are Embassy Suites, Homewood Suites, and Home 2 Suites. These are what's known as long-term stay brands, which have more space, apartment-like amenities, and extra touches like made-to-order breakfast and pet-friendly policies. And they're ideal for somebody who wants to stay at a hotel as a home base for a longer period at a reasonable price point for the entire stay. Now, if price is your number one concern when deciding which hotel to stay at, fear not. Hilton also has a wide range of cheap, budget-friendly accommodations to pick from. But just keep in mind that as limited service hotels, these properties will have a lot fewer amenities like spas, room service, and restaurants. With almost 3,000 locations around the world, Hampton by Hilton offers accommodations almost everywhere. From big cities like Chicago to smaller locales like Medicine Hat, Alberta, you'll find a Hampton pretty much everywhere you look. And best of all, Hampton offers free breakfast to all guests, no matter what your Hilton elite status. I haven't stayed at a Hampton by Hilton just yet, but someday I probably will, maybe an airport hotel somewhere around the world, and I look forward to checking out the free breakfast when I do. Now guess what else is free for everyone? Our YouTube content here on Prince of Travel to help you travel the world better. If you've been enjoying this video so far, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future videos that can help you raise your travel game. Now, moving back to another mid-scale property with hundreds of locations around North America. That's right, this is the Hilton Garden Inn. Hilton Garden Inns offer a culinary first take on the accommodation experience while keeping prices low, with restaurants serving made-to-order breakfasts and bars serving handcrafted cocktails. You can find Hilton Garden Inns in many major cities around the world, and even though I've yet to stay at one, I have a feeling I'll find the Hilton Garden Inn punching above its weight when I do. Now, for a bit of a more vibrant, modern, and youthful feel, there's two Hilton brands that stand out, True and Motto. These hotels embrace a rather simplistic design with just the bare essentials in the rooms and public areas, and they're very much geared towards millennials, whom I guess Hilton believes doesn't need much from their accommodations, and they just like somewhere reasonably priced that's also a little bit hip and happening to hang out. The price point is probably the main attraction to staying at one of these places. And again, even though I'm new to these brands, I'll probably check out the True by Hilton in Yarmouth the next time I'm in Nova Scotia. The next new Hilton brand is Signia by Hilton, which is oriented towards meeting professionals and business travelers. There's currently three locations in San Jose, Atlanta, and Orlando, and I can't really see myself staying at a Signia in the future, although if I do, it'll probably be more about convenience than comfort. Now, if you're a cost-conscious traveler, but these rather basic, everyday cookie-cutter properties aren't so appealing to you, then you'll definitely want to look out for the Tapestry Collection by Hilton. Similar to the Curio Collection, these are also boutique independent hotels with a unique footprint, with no two being the same. The difference here, Tapestry Collection hotels usually have more favorable pricing, while retaining some of the charm and flair that a Curio Collection hotel can bring. I've only stayed at one Tapestry Collection hotel so far, that's the Wesley Hotel in Calgary, which I thought was actually very strong in terms of value for money, especially if you're a Hilton Diamond member and you can get an upgrade to the one-bedroom Revel Suite as the hotel's top-tier suite. And last but not least, there's Hilton Grand Vacations. As the name implies, these are extended, long-term stay, timeshare properties that you'll only be interested in if that's part of your travel lifestyle. Hilton Grand Vacations properties almost always have large multi-room suites along with kitchenettes, and you can typically find them in popular vacation places like Hawaii, Orlando, or Park City. I've never stayed at one, but our family family travel writer at Prince of Travel, Amy, has recently stayed at the Hilton Grand Vacations in Hawaii, and she's got an article that you can check out in the description below that shows you the review and a few hacks for booking these types of timeshare properties at a steep, steep discount through timeshare presentations. And that's it. These are all the major hotel brands by Hilton. Now that you know all about Hilton's hotel brands, go and check out this video on screen right now to find out how you can maximize the Hilton Honors Loyalty Program and Hilton Elite status to stay at places like this, the Susona Bodrum and LXR Hotel for free and get incredible benefits while you do so.